Good afternoon, Jules fans. Welcome back to another Match Day Live with myself from Jules in the Blood TV. It is an early kickoff today. It's a 1pm start for Sunderland versus Jules at the Stadium of Light. Kickoff is about 11 minutes away. So just going to run through the team news quickly uh, in terms of the Jules. One in false change. Tommy O'Connor, who was a slight doubt after picking up the problem on Tuesday night in the win over Crewe, hasn't made it, unfortunately. So Alex McDonald comes into the 11 for Steve Evans' men today. So the dual side in full. Jack Bonham in goal. The back four of Ryan Jackson, Jack Tucker, uh, Robbie Cundy and Connor Ogilvy. Callum Slattery will sit in front of that back four again with Carl Dempsey and Alex McDonald from the sides of the diamond. Ollie Lee at the point in the 10 roll and Jordan Graham alongside for Dane Oliver up front. Unfortunately, with... Um, Tommy O'Connor ruled out through injury. It means that we can only get six substitutes on the bench today. Uh, first appearance in the matchday squad for our new goalkeeper, Bastien, who arrives on a free transfer. Uh, alongside him are Robbie McKenzie, Stuart O'Keefe, Matty Willock, Tyreek Johnson and Big John Akindi. So still plenty of options on there. Uh, still good choices if we do need to come on and get them to come on and change the game. Sunderland, the big miss for them would be Bailey Wright centre-half. He's been replaced by former Jill's lone star Tom Flanagan. There's still plenty of quality in that side. The likes of Charlie White, Aidan McGeady, Max Power, Grant Ledbetter. Plenty of experience, plenty of know-how at this level. And uh, there's no point dressing this up. This is going to be a really tough game. Home form for Sunderland's a bit patchy if you watch my match preview, but they're still a good side. Still got loads of quality and we're going to have to be at it from first whistle to last to get anything. Like I say, just under 10 minutes away from kickoff now, so I'll bring you footage as and when the game starts. Game's underway at the stadium, but interestingly, the graphic that went up just before kickoff on the iFollow screen has come up as a 4 2 3 1, so I'll just keep an eye on that. They've lined us up with Slattery and Dempsey sat in front of the back four as a two, Ollie Lee in the 10, and then Jordan Graham wide and Oliver. Uh, through the middle and then Alex McDonald playing wide on the left so um, obviously it's only 20 seconds in so I've not really had a gauge in terms of shape and personnel at the moment but I'll have a look and uh, keep you updated with that. Sunderland lead, six minutes, gone Aidan McGeady from the left hand side, drop of the shoulder and uh, inside of Carl Dempsey, shot from outside the box, looks like it's going over, flicks off Callum Slattery, loops up and down over Jack Bonham into the corner, Jill's trail, uh, inside 10 minutes, work to do, it's, it's a fluke. I don't care what he says. If it's on target, I think Jack Bonham saves it. But it's gone in and Sunderland lead by goal to nil. Good response from the Jules here. Straight up the other end. Within a minute, we've got a long throw in on our left-hand side, which Ryan Jackson's taking now. Hurled into the box. Conor Ogilvy challenges. Goes over his head. Max Powers headed it clear. But Ryan Jackson will try and recycle it on the left. Goes down the outside. He's done really well. Can he dig out across left-footed? Oh, he scuffed it on his weaker foot. Callum Slattery's done well to recycle possession. He's been bought down on the right-hand side by, looks like, Aidan O'Brien, it might be. Jules have got a free kick just 10 or 15 yards in the Sunderland half. Seven minutes played, 1-0 down. This so has been a great response from the Jules, in fairness. First real chance, Jordan Graham, the get of the left-back, does well, drops that shoulder, ball into the box. Callum Slattery gets a bit of a head on it, but it sort of hits the Sunderland defender as well and drifts wide. But Dane Oliver keeps it alive, recycles it for Alex McDonald. He's putting a dangerous ball in the right side of his outside of his right foot, which has been headed behind for a corner. Jordan Graham taking it now, out swinging. Headed clear by Grant Ledbetter. Come back to Carl Dempsey. He's gone wide right to Jordan Graham again. But this has been really good from the Jules. Graham again tries to get it in. It's been cleared. Callum Slattery. Going to have to go backwards, I think. It's gone back to Ryan Jackson just inside our half. And he's gone all the way back to Jack Bonham, which is fine. We're keeping the ball really well. We've pushed Sunderland back since conceding. Still 1-0 down, but a really positive response from the boys in blue. Free kick to defend here for the Jills. Josh Gowan pinches possession. Looks to go past Carl Dempsey. Brings him down now and he's bursting towards our penalty area. It looks like it's going to be Ledbetter taking it in. Swinging right-footed from their left-hand side. Referee's whistle's gone now. Bit of a delay, referee's watching something in the box. Here comes the ball now, it's good. Jack Tucker does well on the volley, he's cleared it up towards halfway. Jordan Graham's trying to bring it under control. Can't under pressure. Max Powers tried to play a ball into the box and it's ended up about three rows back behind the goal. Still 1-0 Sunderland, but a really entertaining 12 minutes. More pressure from the Jills. Cut the long throws from Ryan Jackson. Calls panic in the Sunderland box. And then a ball from Carl Dempsey goes to the far post. Unfortunately for Dane Oliver, can't quite keep it in. But Jills have responded really well to that early concession. And uh, have probably bossed the last five, ten minutes in truth. It's another half chance for the Jills. Jordan Graham, right hand side. Drilled box flat. For Dane Oliver, does really well. Brings it under control. Little flick back round the corner for Oliver Lee. Spinning shot. 
drags it just wide of Lee Burge's post. But Jules are the better side at the moment. And if we can keep up this pressure, I'm confident we'll create enough chances to score a goal. It's a real opportunity for Jules to get at the two Sunderland centre-backs. Both Tom Flanagan and Jordan Willis don't look comfortable. Just played a ball over the top. I think it might have been Ollie Lee challenging. Willis leaves it for Lee Burge. Lee Burge leaves it for Willis. And then Willis just hooks it up in the air under a bit of pressure. Panicked. And uh, we nearly create something off the second ball. But it's not the first time that Jordan Willis has had a really poor touch trying to play. So something to keep an eye on as the game goes on. All the chances are coming. Gillingham's way. Ball into the box from a free kick from Jack Tucker. Connor Ogilvy sorts his feet out. Just looking at the replay now. Steps inside his marker. I think it's Charlie White back defending. Shot charged down by Jordan Willis. Callum Slattery shot charged down, went on target. And then Carl Dempsey unfortunately rolled the ball out far side for a throw into Sunderland. But we deserve to be level for me. We've been the better side. It's still 1-0 to Sunderland, but I'm not sure how. Jules are level and deservedly so. And it's a really good hit from Alex McDonald. It's a long throw from Ryan Jackson on the far side. It gets headed up in the air. Drops out of the sky for Alex McDonald. Right footed. Catches it cleanly. Not the most pace on it, but it's gone through a crowd of players and Lee Burge can't keep it out as it's nestled in the bottom corner. Jules won all at the Stadium of Light and deservedly so. Jules nearly lead. It's another ball into the box from Jordan Graham. Vadane Oliver competes with it. Breaks to Alex McDonald. Left-footed shot first time. Crashes off the underside of the bar and out. Sunderland hack it away. Sunderland are under the cost. Jules have been the better side. It's still one each. Another free kick for the Jules. Sunderland must have committed as many fouls as we take and long throws, if you believe the co-commentator doing it for Radio Sunderland today. <laughs> Unfortunately, Jordan Graham's delivery is not the best this time, but it's drifted out for a goal kick. Still one all. 10 minutes till the break. 37 minutes gone and Sunderland have put together probably their best bit of football for the entirety of the half. They work it from left to right. There's a foul in the middle of the pitch. Referee plays a good advantage. It's Max Power. Delivers a really good ball from right back, which Ryan Jackson's headed out for a corner at the far post. But aside from that, Sunderland, they've not got in behind us. We've been really solid defensively. We've kept Charlie White quiet for now. Fingers crossed I'm not jinxing it. And um, most of the game's been played in front of us. But I'll stay with this one because it's a, a corner that we've got to defend. It's going to be Grant Ledbetter. Hand raised, far side as I watch. In swinging, here it comes, far post. Headed back into a danger zone. I don't know where it's gone. Carl Dempsey's got a foot on it. Ollie Lee's hacked it clear. Bit of pressure from the home side, which snapshot from Max Power has been charged down. Connor Ogilvy's tied it up. Cleared it, but it's hit Alex McDonald. Another chance. Great save. Jack Bonham through bodies. He's flicked it out with his right hand for a corner. Jill's just under a bit of pressure in the last minute or so. It's a penalty to Sunderland out of the blue, and I'm not sure it is. Aidan McGeady gets into the box. Stands up Robbie Cundy, tries to get back onto his right foot. They both fall over together. Referee straight away points to the spot. I can't see a foul. Maybe I'm slightly biased, but it looks like they've both just fallen over to me. Really harsh on the Jills, who've been the better side in this first period. Could end up going in 2-1 behind. Come on, Jack Bonham. It's going to be Grant Ledbetter from the spot. Come on, Jack Bonham. Jack Bonham saved it. Oh, no. Another lucky goal for Sunderland. They lead 2-1. Jack Bonham makes a brilliant save right-handed. The ball bounces onto the line. Spins back towards the goal. Ledbetter runs in and heads it in from literally centimetres. So unjust. So undeserved for the home side. Jills have been the better side. I know I've said that plenty. Nearly as many times as that Sunderland co-commentator has mentioned throw-ins. Harsh. Half-time at the stadium of light and somehow Jules trail 2-1. Sometimes you just sit and wonder how you're losing a football match. We've been the better team. Aside from Aidan McGeady's deflected effort, Aidan McGeady winning a soft penalty. Sunderland have offered very little as an attacking force. They put one good ball into the box via Max Power that was uh, defended well at the back post. From the other end, we've got plenty of dangerous balls into the box, whether that's from Ryan Jackson's throw-ins or uh, Jordan Graham continually beating the left-back. We've scored a good equaliser through Alex McDonald. He's unlucky in the bar uh, with another effort. Uh, Connor Ogilvy's had one blocked. Callum Slattery, I think it was, in the same move. But work to do, unfortunately. But still confident if we play like this, because we've been solid defensively despite conceding two. Even the penalty's soft. Jack Bonham makes a brilliant save and then Sunderland get the luck. But I'm confident if we continue to play like this in the second 45, we can still get something out of this game. Half-time in the northeast. Sunderland 2, Gillingham 1. Five minutes gone in the second period. Steve Evans has got Stuart O'Keefe ready for action already. So an early change for Jules. He's on the touchline waiting to come on when the ball goes out of play. Be interesting to see who that would be for. Um, ball's gone out of play now, so we'll uh, maybe find out quickly. 
It's the captain, Carl Dempsey, who's having to come off. He's hobbled over to this near side as we watch it on iFollow, so it must be a problem for the skipper. So Stuart O'Keefe comes on, takes the armband, be a straight swap, I'd imagine. He'll go to that right-hand side of the diamond, or as a 4-2-3-1, he'll sit alongside Callum Slattery. So 51 minutes played, still 2-1 to the home side. Stuart O'Keefe has entered the fray. It's a chance for Jules. Jack Tucker, uh, sorry, Jack Bonham puts a free kick into the mix. I think it's uh, Robbie Cundy gets the nod down. But Dane Oliver gets there in front of his defender, brings it under control, flicks it past Burgess. He comes out, but it just creeps wide at the far post on the stretch. Jules are still well in this game at 2 1. We've still well over half an hour to play. Jules pressing again. It's Jordan Graham causing problems down the right hand side. He's earned himself a corner after his cross was charged down. He's going to take it himself. Here it comes now. Out swinging from the wide man. Easy claim for Lee Burge in the six-yard box, unfortunately. One of the Sunderland players has just fallen over in his own area. And he's moaning about it. Tom Flanagan having a whinge. Still 2-1 to Sunderland. Corner for the home side. It's a weird setup. They've got one player on Jack Bonham. Everyone else is on the edge of our 18-yard box. Five of them together, one in the D. They've gone short. It's obviously a training ground one. Aidan mcgeady has got this ball back. Ball left-footed. Drifted out of play, far side. So whatever it was, it didn't really work. 58 played, nearly 59. Still 2-1 to the Mackhams. Second change for the Jules has just been made, just as Sunderland create another half chance. But it's a comfortable save in the end for Jack Bonham. The change, though, for Jules is somewhat surprisingly for me. Alex McDonald's been taken off. Thought he was good first half. Scored a really good level. Uh, leveller was industrious uh, with the ball. Uh, and out of possession and was unlucky not to put us in front when he hit the underside of the crossbar. But he's been uh, taken off for John Akindi, so trying to work out what the system will be. It looks a bit lopsided. I don't know whether it's still a 4-3-3, so it'll be O'Keefe, Slattery and Ollie Lee from the middle of the park. And then maybe John Akindi will go through the middle and Vidane Oliver plays a wide forward on the left. Or it could be a diamond with Slattery at the base, Graham at the point and then Lee and O'Keefe from the sides with the two big men up front. Uh, but we'll see how that pans out in the coming minutes. Not a lot happened in the last 10 minutes and suddenly the clock's reading 74 play. Jules have made a couple of changes but they've not really affected the game in an offensive sense yet. Hoping that John O'Kindy can get more involved. He's challenged for a couple of balls into his chest and his head but not really affecting it moving towards a Sunderland goal. Um, still got Matty Willock on the bench, haven't we? Still got Tyreek Johnson so there's still options from an offensive sense but... Ball's just dropped for Ollie Lee and snapshot's gone out of play. Looks like a goal kick's been given. Ollie Lee protesting it should be a corner. But it suit the way, suit the, um, Sunderland at the moment. The fact that it's gone a little bit bitty and a little bit scrappy because they've still got something to hold on to and are playing on the break a little bit. 75 played, Sunderland 2, Jules 1. It's getting a bit feisty at the stadium a lot as we enter the last 10 minutes. Callum McFasdeen, the left back for Sunderland, has been given a torrid afternoon by uh, Jordan Graham. It's embarrassing what he's done. He's, he's collided with Ryan Jackson on the touchline. He rolls about three times off the pitch, claiming that he's been fouled, holding his calf. And then when he realises that he's not getting a free kick, he rolls three times back onto the pitch to try and stop us taking the throw on. You can call it professional and clever time, mate. Jules have just hit the post. Snapshot, I think it's an overhead kick from Oliver. And he's bounced off the post and got out of safety. Now's another chance. Lee Burgess. Flapped it across and it's been hacked clear and out for a throw in this near side. Jules deserved to be level in this game. Just looked at the replay for Dane Oliver's really unlucky. Back to goal, falling over, off balance. Hooks it with the outside of his right foot. Looks like he's having his shirt pulled as well. Um, and yeah, it's bounced off the base of the post and Sunderland have smuggled it clear. Really harsh on the Jules with 10 minutes to play plus injury time. So another half chance for the Jules. Ball into the mixer again. There's a flick on. John Akindi looks like he's in behind, but credit to Sunderland centre half who gets there last minute. Another chance for Jules. John Akindi, he's in behind. Lee Burge has gone walkabout again. Akindi stays on his feet. Goes back to the left hand side. Connor Ogilvy digs out across. It's been headed clear by Tom Flanagan. It's going to come out to Ryan Jackson in the right back position. He's gone wide to Jordan Graham up against the left back. Referee's said we've made a foul off the ball. He's gone and told John Akindi off for doing something. Couldn't see it, obviously, because of the camera angle, but it's annoying because Jules are just building up a little bit of momentum again. Grant Ledbetter's taking time out of the game, showing his experience. Still 2-1, eight minutes plus injury time left. Changes for both sides as we're in the last three minutes plus injury time. You'd imagine there's going to be a lot of time added on. Charlie White, who's come off, that's testament to the Jules back four, who's been really good today. Um, he's barely had a kick. He's had one snapshot that went into the... Uh, Stand behind the goal second half. He's won a couple of headers, but has never threatened us properly. Um, 
So yeah, well done to Jules on that. Jules have just made their change. It's Tyreek Johnson coming on. I'm not sure who's gone off, to be honest. Callum Slattery, it's just come up on iFollow. So Jill's really going for this now, uh, with a few minutes to play, plus injury time. Jill's a level, it's a final minute goal. It's Jordan Graham. Sunderland don't like us scoring late on at the stadium of light. Do. It's a big ball down the middle. It's caused carnage in the box. The ball breaks for the Dane Oliver. Keeper comes out, gets caught in no man's land. Jordan Graham, calm is dead on the pitch. Skips round the Lee Burge challenge. Smashes it into the roof of the net. We're approaching injury time. Sunderland two, Gillingham two. Come on. It's been five minutes raised by the fourth official. We've played two of them. Balls with the Sunderland keeper at the moment. Nervy times, I think. Sunderland's still pushing for a winner. You think they need to, probably think that they need to win this if they want to stay in touch with them playoff places. They're on the attack now, actually, with uh, Lyndon Gooch trying to get to the byline. Robbie Cundy's done really well to block the cross. Tyreek Johnson should clear this up and get it clear. He has left footed over halfway for Dane Oliver compete. Sorry, John Akindi actually has brought it under control. Oh, he's unlucky there. Sunderland player got back in to pinch it off him. But that's another 30 seconds killed. We're halfway through injury time. Still Sunderland two, Jules two. We're into the final 30 seconds of that minimum five minutes and the ball's with Jack Bonham. So just taking the sting out of the game here. Jules, to be fair, have carried on trying to get that third, as have Sunderland. Been a really entertaining game if you're a neutral, as was last season's game at this stadium. But it's five seconds plus what the referee decides to add on now. Jules are nearly there in terms of picking up a really good away point. That is, in fact, it at the stadium of light this afternoon. It's finished Sunderland 2, Gillingham 2. Really good point on the road for the boys in blue. To a man, they've been brilliant again, as they were at home to crew in the week. Second season in a row that it's finished two all at this ground. And on both occasions, you can't say we don't deserve anything. We've hit the bar and the post today. Sunderland's two goals have had fortune about them. Soft penalty for me. And Aidan McGeady's opener took a huge deflection. In terms of their players, he's the class act. He was the one that made the difference. He was the one that made them tick and kept them going as an attacking threat. For us, Jordan Graham, really good. But a big word out for that back four and keeper today. I thought Jack Tucker and Robbie Cundy were absolutely superb up against Charlie White, the informed striker in the division, to the point where he got taken off. thought both fullbacks were really good again. Ryan Jackson, for me, superb at right back today. And uh, that's back-to-back -back really good performances for him. The only downside is a potential injury to Carl Dempsey. He went off really early in the second period. Hopefully that's nothing too serious. Going forward... We, we did what we have to do, don't we? We're direct and, we, and we've, we've got a game plan and, it, and we've pulled it off to a tee today. And it's, uh, it's a really, really good point, as much as Sunderland won't like it. Um, right, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to this Match Day Live. It's been another enjoyable game. Um, please keep liking, subscribing, retweeting and doing all that you do. Please keep getting others to subscribe as we creep towards 1,500. Um, yes, be back Monday to look back on this fixture with a couple of days uh, hindsight. Um, but until then, enjoy the rest of your Saturday, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and until next time, up the jewels. Jump.